Hit play. play. Hit play. play. Hit play. Come on. Hit play. Come on. Hit play. Welcome to this week's episode of Talking About Film here in Tucson at the Independent Level. I'm Ed Rivarra and I'm here with actor, producer, Fausto Almo Renteria. A little late here, but we had the Oscars. Since we can't air any of ABC's video on here out of fear of getting sued for our millions, right? Keep your money. I'll save my millions too. What we're gonna do is show you the way it went. And best director, Alejandro Gonzalez in Yarritu. Gracias a Dios, gracias a Academia, gracias a la raza. Ahí nos vemos. Woo! And best actress, Brie Larson. I'm so thankful. <laughs> and best actor goes to Leonardo DiCaprio. It's about goddamn time. And stop screwing the earth. Also, what do you think about the Oscars, man? It was entertaining, it was funny, but there was something missing. Here's my take on the Oscars. I'm happy that Chris Rock addressed the elephant in the room, which is basically diversity. But it got old really fast when diversity itself turned into literally a bunch of different jokes in a bunch of different weird ways. When you brought the little Asian kids out, you had to question how serious he was taking it. The problem I had with that diversity was that he wasn't too diverse, meaning he talked about black and white. So it was a black and white issue. But what happened to everybody else? We are happy for our African American brothers and sisters out there who definitely voiced up uh, with regards to bringing this issue of diversity forward. And for our uh, Latino leadership, uh, the leadership that we did have in Hollywood, who did speak up. But here's why it matters. According to a recent article citing some numbers, Latinos are about 17% of the US population and 32% of regular Yep, 32% of regular movie going ticket buyers. That's almost one third of the ticket buyers out there. But yet, they comprise only 4.9% of the speaking roles on screen. Come on, Hollywood. Reality and life is a little different from what you're underrepresenting on screen. Also, underrepresented are Native Americans and Asians. So, come on, Hollywood, seriously. Let's get it together. You can do better than that. Definitely better than that. Our stories are not being told. Is that something wrong there? Of course there's something wrong there. But it's up to us to change that. Why? Because we need to have our stories told. That's right, and so that's why we do what we do. I mean, we've been making independent films for years and we'll continue to do so if independently, but that's how we have to get our voice out there. Hey, that's what we're gonna continue to do. Yeah, so. and our stories told by us. What I mean by that is that when there's an opportunity for a Latino role to be out portrayed out there, they give it to somebody who's not a Latino. That pisses me off. So let's change that. Let's work together to change that. You know, that's definitely our message for Latinos and Latino filmmakers and the Latino narrative out there. But again, it also goes for Asians, for Native Americans, for anybody who's definitely underrepresented by Hollywood, period. So uh, Eva Longoria urged her fellow uh, celebrities to wear brown ribbons. So you know what? We're not celebrities, but I decided to celebrate you we celebrate each other. So we decided to wear the brown ribbons yesterday during the Oscars in support of bringing attention to the lack of Latino acknowledgement within Hollywood. So Eva Longoria, this one's for you. Thank you very much for the idea. Moving on and back to Tucson. Have you ever wondered what it takes to make a character come to life with a lot of complexities versus a two-dimensional character? Well, here we have Denise Bloom. The story is really complex. I'm still, I think I put in a lot more layers that no one else had considered. Um, and I think that's important for any project to find it, find who your character is, make that character your own, and make that story make sense to your character. And hopefully that comes across in the final product. I think if you don't do that, uh, it, it's a flat story. Not, I'm not saying this script was flat, there was a lot of complexity in it, and that made it a lot more fun to play with and a lot more fun to deep, dig deep and find more more complexity, complexity to bring it to the surface. But have you ever wondered what it takes to make a great independent film work on set so that you can avoid <laughs> For a little bit more on that, we've got Roger Owen talking to us about trust and collaboration. Take it away, Roger. Uh, what's the biggest ingredient to making those collaborations work? Trust. Trust and being on the same page. So, like I said before, this group, uh, Al2, all of them, you know, everybody was invested in it. Uh, Fonzie, everybody took it seriously when they needed to take it seriously. We had fun, <clears throat> but we all had the same goal in mind to make a quality product that worked. And so uh, collaboration wasn't a problem. I trusted you. I felt you trusted me. So there wasn't anything I couldn't say like, well, wait, Edgar, wouldn't, couldn't we try this? And you felt comfortable telling me, yeah, but what about this? You know, and it might look better if we do that. 
That's what it's all about, you know, tweaking it, but a group tweak, if there is such a word. Yeah! That was Roger Owen and Denise Bloom in the upcoming Tucson short film, The Moment, due out March 26. So, a few more weeks, we're almost there. Stay tuned! Now, to close out our episode, we've got some good news. We did a little film about a year ago that's uh, been accepted into the Arivaca Independent Film Exhibition, thanks to Mr. Bart Santillo. We really, really, really invite you guys to go down to Arivaca and check it out. We're going to put a lot of the information, basically the link to their website, in the comments below and also the description. So check it out. We hope to see you there. Uh, the short film that, uh, thankfully, we're going to bring to the festival is called Between You and Me. Come see it. Be there. Have fun, get to meet us in person, and Bart, we'll see you there, Bart. So thanks a lot, that does it for this week. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, drop us a little line in the comment section below. We'd love to get in touch with you and hear back from you. Thanks a lot, see you next week.